Good afternoon, this is Dustin with Orlando Painters. We're here at the Zavada residence in Windermere, Florida. And we were staying in their boat dock. We started it this morning. We have all the all that bottom skirtings done. All the bottom, the pylons, cross members, they're all done. You can see up there, the fascia board's done all the way around. The header's done all the way around. The skirting around the, the boat slip area is done. And the guys are working their way up on these pylons here. You can see there's quite a big difference between the pylons there versus these ones here. And this decking will be last. So, coming through here, on all these pylons here, as you can see the difference between the, the stain here on this pylon versus the decking. And I like to always uh, protect the decking. I know it's all going the same color stain. A lot of times we use a semi-transparent stain and we have a process to open these pores majorly. So sometimes if you get sprinkles on the ground, on the decking, a lot of times it soaks into it. And not every time, but sometimes you'll be able to see where the little circles are at from the sprinkles. So I always try to protect it just in case. I don't want to run into that problem. So when they're painting these uh, the pylons there, they get sprinkled, it just goes on the paper. Because sometimes you can, you know, it'll stain that wood. And when you go, you know, you do your uh, staining process over the top of it and you're kind of just adding more stain and you leave, you kind of highlight them the sprinkles. I know it's kind of maybe difficult to understand what I'm saying, but it's, uh, I just like this, it's like that there. I like to protect it when we do it, so. so these pylons are all done. You can see how dark the header and the fascia is and the pylon there versus the decking. So this dock's gonna look super duper awesome when we're done here today. You can see we just replaced the uh, rotted board they had right there. So that's gonna look a lot lighter for a little bit. We're gonna have to put four or five, six coats of stain on that. But you wanna keep adding the stain to it while it's still somewhat wet. That way the, the pores are open at their widest points. You wait for it to dry then all you're going to do is seal up the wood and then you just lay in stain over the top and it's going to wear off very quickly and it's probably not even going to darken at all so you want to add it to the wood while the wood is wet the stain's still wet somewhat and the pores are the mouths of the pores are open at their widest points and they're just trying to drink that stain as much as they can just keep giving it to them you know just keep filling those pores up Okay, enough of my secrets <laughs> but anyway you can see the difference here and they're just going to work their way down those pylons right there and then the, you know after they're done with that they'll come down here and have everybody jump on this decking i know it's kind of a mess in here right now but it will be spotless here in a few minutes and we'll just work our way all the way down right there um this rope looks a little tacky but they're replacing the rope so Again, we're using a, uh, a semi-transparent stain, uh, natural pine color. And it should look um, just amazing when we're done. So I'll have all the before, during, and after pictures of this project. I can show you and maybe make one last video at the end so you can see the big difference that we have. But again, this is Dustin with the Orlando Painters like to thank you for taking the time to watch this short little video.